Okay, the first one is the dandelion. People, stop cursing the dandelion. It's a beautiful flower that offers medicine in every part of the plant. You can eat the flowers, flower buds, leaves, and roots. In traditional medicine, it's a tonic for the liver and can help detoxify the body. The leaves and roots are what's typically used for medicinal benefits, but you can eat the whole flower. They're loaded with polyphenols, which are antioxidants, and are considered the healthiest part of the plant. You can make tea with the flowers. You can drop them into your favorite bread or muffin recipe. The flower buds can even be pickled like capers. Bon appétit. Wood sorrel or oxalis. Like the dandelion, you can eat the whole plant. Traditionally, it's used to relieve liver and digestion issues. The flower is delicious. It's lemony and fresh. Kids love these. It's May here in Atlanta, and this chickweed is going to seed now. There's just the last few flowers. And I want you to note the difference between clover and wood sorrel. So wood sorrel has heart-shaped leaved, leaves, while clover leaves are rounded. As with many wild plants, wood sorrel is dangerous if consumed in large quantities. So eat several as a snack, no problem. Don't try to eat a whole salad bowl of it. Bon appétit. Chickweed. I think most gardeners consid consider this an obnoxious weed, but chickweed is... Well, it can be obnoxious because it spreads and can take over a raised bed quickly, but it releases phosphorus, manganese, and potassium into the soil. And the tiny flowers feed pollinators early in the spring, so think twice about pulling it. It grows amongst the wood sorrel and wild violets in my raised beds, and I do snack on it because chickweed is delicious <laughs> and nutrient dense. It's been used in traditional Chinese medicine for thousands of years. And when compared to spinach, it has six times more vitamin C, 12 times more calcium, and get this, 83 times more iron. So sorry, spinach, you've been out nutrified by a weed. It's a chickweed. I've made it into pesto, uh, which I use on pizza and it's amazing. Bon appétit. Mock strawberries. Not a flower, but these tiny gems you find in your garden and yard every spring are edible. Not great tasting, but they're edible and nutritious. You can eat them raw, make jellies, eat them in a salad of marinated vegetables. You can eat the berry and the leaves. Bon appétit. Clover. This plant is part of the legume family and they're rich in antioxidants and have been used medicinally in many cultures. Clover is said to be an effective treatment for inflammation of the joints. Now there's not been a lot of research into these wild medicinal plants. And the studies that have been conducted show some promising results. For instance, studies with mice showed that white clover ointment sped up wound healing. Other preliminary non-animal studies have shown that white clover extracts keep leukemia cancer cells from growing. Red clover is popular as an herbal remedy for menopausal hot flashes and has also been shown to improve cholesterol levels. We do know clover is rich in nutrients and fiber and the flowers are pretty tasty. All parts of the plant are edible. Again, don't go crazy on them. Eat one or two and move on. Okay, share them with the pollinators. You can make tea and jellies with the blossoms and eat the leaves raw or saute them with your favorite veggies. Bon appetit. Wild violet. I'll bet you can find these all over your yard and popping up in your garden. The beautiful little violet flowers are edible, and like all of these wild plants, they have medicinal uses. Studies have shown wild violets can boost the body's immune response by increasing antibody activity. Medicinally, they've been used for a range of conditions. 
can make cough syrup with them and they're excellent in skin lotions and balms that will treat eczema, bug bites, and dry skin. Eat the flower and the leaves, but leave the root alone. Eating the root in large doses can cause nasty belly problems. Okay, I don't know why you would do that, but don't do it. The leaves and flowers are high in vitamin C, and they can be eaten raw or sauteed, steamed, or made into a tea. Bon appétit. Last on this list are collard blooms. If you let your collards bolt or flower at the end of the season, you get to enjoy these delicious, nutritious little collard flowers. They taste like sweet collards. So good. Pop them in your mouth or toss them in a salad and enjoy. 